Good morning students today i welcome you all on behalf of rasa international school to study mathematics of class 10th chapter number 2 polynomials it is on your book page number 30 to 31 in this video we will study the relationship between zeros and coefficients of the polynomial so let's start here we have an example example number 3 find the zeros of the polynomial x square minus 3 and verify the relation between the zeros and the coefficients so basically first of all this is our polynomial the standard form of writing or you can say the general form of writing a quadratic polynomial is ax square plus bx plus c okay now over here the ax square is your only x square bx the x coefficient is zero over here because x term is not there okay and constant that is c is minus of 3 so by comparing the equation equation 1 and the given equation 2 we get a is equal to 1 b is equal to Zero and c is equal to minus three. Okay, I am circling it out so that you are able to understand. A is equal to one, b is equal to zero, c is equal to minus of three. Is it clear? Now, with the help of this, a, b, and c value, I am writing over. Okay, again, a value is. One, b value is zero, and c value is minus of three. With the help of these values, these values, we can find out the sum of zeros. Sum of zeros, we have a formula that is with the help of coefficient that is minus b upon a. Now b is zero, and a is one. So the sum of zeros are coming out to be Zero with the help of the coefficients, okay. So that is coming out to be zero. First of all, second product of zeros. Product of zero is c upon a. C is minus three, and a is one. So it is also coming out to be minus of three. So you are getting sum of zeros as zero and product of zeros as minus of three. with the help of coefficients of the polynomial now with the help of these zeros okay now we first find out the zeros of the given polynomial and do the addition of those zeros and product of zeros so this equation we have this is of the form a square minus b square how x square minus of 3 can be written as x square minus Uh, root three square. So we know that a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b. So as we solve this, we get the two zeros that is plus root three and of minus root three. I am using red color. Plus root three and minus root three are the two zeros of this polynomial. so when we add these zeros plus 3 root 3 and minus root 3 what we get zero when we product them we get minus 3 so this is been verified with the help of the coefficients of the polynomial and with the roots of the polynomial we are getting the same sum of zeros and product of zeros so hence it is verified is it clear now we are moving to the example number 4 here we have to draw means one minute here we have to find the quadratic polynomial if the sum and the product of the zeros is been given to us the sum of zeros zeros actually a quadratic equation has two zeros okay two zeros or you can say two roots so one of them is represented by alpha and the other one is represented by beta so sum of zeros is alpha plus beta 
and product of zeros is alpha into beta they have given us the sum of zero that is minus three and they given us the product that is plus of two if you are given with the sum of zeros and the product of zeros of a quadratic polynomial you can create the quadratic equation with the help of the formula x square minus sum of zeros plus product of zeros so now i'm substituting the values okay x square sum of zeros is how much given to us minus of 3 so minus of minus 3 x product of 0 is 2 so our equation will become as x square plus of 3x plus 2 so this is our required quadratic polynomial whose sum and product of the zeros are given to us the equation is x square minus alpha plus beta that is sum of zeros into x plus alpha into beta that is product of zeros so this is the way we can create the quadratic polynomial whose sum of zeros and product of zeros are been given to us okay the equation is also given to us over here in the last line x square plus 3x plus 2 is it clear okay i will show you the equation the equation is over here okay clear beta so thank you we will continue in our next video for the remaining examples